Hello everybody, welcome to the official live cast of the round 16 match, game number 2. Frankie 129 and his undead up against Strider 84 and his Wood Elves. Strider won the toss, chose to kick. Uh, Strider has to win this game. Frankie won the first game 2-0 um, because he basically cast both War Dancers and the Tree Man and pretty much hurt everything else as well. So Frankie has the advantage in this match. He only requires a draw. So if he gets this drive done, you know, he's he's halfway there. So very, very crucial, very exciting. Um, very kind of normal builds from both of these people. You've got, got a couple of guard, a couple of block, wrestle, tackle, and pretty much standard from Strider with a couple of dodge, a couple of wrestle, straight sidestep leader. And no surprises in team builds. I can tell you that Frankie129 is Spanish, qualified through NBB. And Strider is Swiss, qualified through the Season 3 official playoffs. And he won the Season 2 finals, which is the forerunner to this event. There you go. Instant cars. Oh my goodness. <laughs> This time Strider does not apple it because it's a serious injury and not a uh You can be my hurt. wingman anytime. Wow. Bullshit. You can be mine. Makes the pickup. Hello BB Nut, thanks for it. It's happening again, yep, I mean instant Kaz is not what he wanted. <laughs> Fantastic uh, analysis there from Jim. <laughs> this time uh, Frankie has not let his tackler be instantly smashed. So that's an improvement. No, oh, but he is putting two people on the tree. Not what I would have done. Yeah, I know, right? I, I, right. This is this is this is where you get the top the top tier commentary of <laughs> getting your players killed is bad. You won't find commentary like this anywhere else, guys. Managed to beat off the zombie. Now he gets to three D the other one. Straight away, Strider's in more um, conservative, right? L last time he got the blitz, and he ran people through, and ended up getting things smashed up a bit. This time, he's just straight away in for the screening and uh, see what happens. Oh, I mean, you don't want your player dying, though, right, Cosmigo? I mean, w watching the game, yes, I'm all for death. But when you when you're playing yourself, you don't really want your your players dying. He's a bit too obsessed by the idea of having to have guard near the ball here, isn't he? Um, because what, what happened last time, he's hitch caging like this. Which straight away means if you're filling the back, you don't need guard in the back, right? So he only actually needs one guard in this formation anyway. And also, it happened. Oh, that is giving him a punch. What happened last game was 
he went really, really safe with the ball. Really safe, really safe, really safe. No penetration. And then on turn six or seven, he had, he had to run past and leave the ball exposed. So you do have to balance the requirement of penetration with the desire to protect the ball. How old was? Yeah, chaining the tree would have been my play there, hundred percent, hundred percent. Two dice in the ball would have been pretty good, but not something that Strider wants to do. Doesn't he want to base the cage? Wow. Honestly, like needing the win, I would, I would have, I would have gone for the tree sack. I quite like the tree sack there. I think that was the best play. It was like actually super easy as well. It was like so easy to get the tree sack. Like literally, you already had the square. You just have to blitz this one, which pushes into there, and then one player here, and then he pushes him, and then he's in the cage, and then he two days the ball. Like. It's like so easy that I would have had to have done it. <laughs> but you know, he was disciplined and kept his screen in front. I mean, maybe he didn't, but you've just got it. You have to turn him over. Like, you basically have to turn him over. Like, basically, right? You have to win this game. And the best chance of winning the game is by turning him over, so... You almost have to turn him over. a lot of players on the tree you might uh, come in for the uphill so many tackle zones though you can't actually disregard errata errata he can yeah yes he can very easily yeah wait wait a minute no it's not it's not it's not super easy actually no yeah it is super easy and <laughs> and that's the first movie needs for it so yep this looks like it's happening nah he doesn't need a 2d uphill he can 1d with strip ball Can you shoot a play, guys? There we go. Chains out the ball and Kaz is a zombie. There we go. Yeah, scenario. Yep, yeah, that's it. Pretty nice, wasn't it? Pretty nice. And it's a it's a great pushing him like he's outside as well, right? Oh, he pushed him there, hoping for a bobble, I guess. Oh, I would have pushed him here and kept it on the outside so you can just get it. Weird. Oh well, it's in four tackle zones. <laughs> I guess I guess there is that, yeah. Yeah, I guess three of these scatters are incredible for the Wood Elves, aren't they? Because they probably don't catch it and it comes out the front. 
and then these two are both great because it's got the tree on it. I would have gone there and then like tried to pick it up, but I like, pushed it to here and then tried to pick it up. But I guess then you know, yeah, his was way better, way better than that. I was dumb. I was a big dumby. I was a big dumby. That was the best. And yet yeah, now, now um, Frankie is in a bit of a pickle. A bit of a pickle. But with good dice, you can just absolutely smash Strider here. <laughs> so, I mean, there's a good chance of him being able to pick it up, right? Like, it was just, there were four good scatters, whereas if he, if he went there, there were like, there were one, two, three, yeah, there were five good scatters, but six and two, threes, really. Well, there's a removal. I would have hit the wrestler here. And then punched him, punched him, blitzed him on two. Uh, kill his tree again. <laughs> yeah, this is really dodgy for Frankie, isn't it? Really dodgy for Frankie. That's a pow. Does he just try to pick it up on a five plus? This seems pretty horrendous for him. It's like he hasn't got a plan of how he's going to get it. I mean, I don't know what the plan is to get it. Probably this other one now. Dodge him. Like there, that's where I would have gone, right? Or even here. But he's he's got nowhere to go with this guy anyway. It's like you needed to bring this back and make a cage. Now he's got to dodge in, so he can't pick up the ball this turn, which means we elves will scatter it. And pick it up and score. Probably. <laughs> Probably. Not necessarily. He could also just, uh, you know, cast, cast two dancers. <laughs> there is a chance of that. It looks pretty over, yeah. Already. This looks terrible for Frankie. Does not power the dancer. Gotta see the chains, guys. Yeah, it was actually that turned out to be a lot better than chaining the tree onto the ball. And now it's just an instant scatter. say I'd have followed there but it works out not following I guess I would have followed it's funny but it probably is better not to right but I would have <laughs> I would have followed but it is probably better not to have followed
No, I probably just uh, probably just do it with the dance thing. Probably just roll the minion dance. A lot of dice. I say a lot, it's two one in 36s, but still, that's a lot when you know it's with the guy who's gonna get the ball. Oh, didn't film, and like the tree was a one in nine, right? Which is way too risky. So it's still better to 1 in 36 with a dancer twice. And yeah, just absolutely destroyed at the moment is uh, Frankie. This game looks almost lost. But there's still a lot of turns, there's still all of the second half. Who knows? There's dice rolls to be made. It's almost lost, yeah. I'd say this game is almost lost. He's lost the ball on his drive. If I strider, I think I've won this. 100%. 100%. I, 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 if, I, if I'm the Wood Elves here, I think I've won. Like, of course, you can't count your chickens before they've hatched or anything. Um... But like it's 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 Strider's game to lose at this point because he can dacker like undead or bad at dealing with a dacker I think so he's got all three re rolls he's got the ball on Frankie's drive. It's not over, it's not over, Cosme Gold. But I mean, I would be very, very, very confident if I was Strider at this point. Incredibly confident. Which, as we all know, according to Dimmy, that's all you need. I don't know if he didn't blitz there. I don't know. Surely he blitzed this catcher. There's tacklers here. Dancers annoyingly positioned perfectly for uh, <laughs> Frankie.
Is that a tree blitz? What was he going to blitz with this guy? No, it doesn't matter, it was a 1 in 9. Tree did not kill the mummy. And now uh, Frankie can try to do something. I mean, you know, like, Strider can 1 in 36 at any point, can't they? Like, I wasn't trying to imply that it was over, but... I do think it looks very strong for Strider. Wood elves exist in uh, Blood Bowl 3. This, this is Wood elves. I think this uh, ghoul should have bracketed this guy. But this is okay, like, he, he is doing something here. That was hilarious, Kate, yeah. Gotta eat that, I guess. Yeah, the greasy cleats, yeah. <laughs> I mean, not hilarious. Not hilarious for the peg, but uh, hilarious for us. I think it was in, like, the tiebreaker match as well, wasn't it? Just to really rub it in. <laughs> Genuinely. I wonder if he'll score this turn or not. It's kind of tempting because you might score again, right? And and be 2 0 at the half. If like Frankie goes for a two turn. You know, you could end up not protecting the ball and you could just go 2-0 up. So I wouldn't have hated going for it. Really wouldn't have hated going for the score there. It was surveillance, you're right. Oh, Well, what a bad... Place to fail the dodge. And there you go, it's gone from nearly over to misplayed. <laughs> um, oh well, never mind. So, what Frankie could have done was put a player here and then punch him and chain this guy to here. And then he could have just hit the ball. But didn't. Couldn't see the chain, guys. That was definitely... I mean, I, saying misplays maybe is a bit harsh, but I think he just didn't see it, because I think if you see it, you've got to go for that, right? You can dodge off the tackle and one... Or hit him with a wrestle, you can, like, one day him with wrestle. You've got, to, you've got to take that, right? One day with wrestle. You just have to. You just actually have to. So, I think he didn't see it. No, I think it was the best play. Ugh.
No oh dear. This is just looking like stalling and surfing a ghoul. <laughs> No, no, no. The play was put a player in here, you block him, he pushes this guy down to there, then you move a player here and you try to hit this guy. This is not the play. This is most definitely not the play. It might it might stop the stall. To be fair, it might stop the stall. This is why I didn't really like stalling last turn, right? I liked scoring, and then maybe Frankie tries for a two turn and fails. I don't think he'll even serve two, honestly. I, don't, I think he'll only surf one. In fact, he might not surf any. No, I mean, he's got to surf one. I mean, he ain't, he ain't surfing both. Ain't serving any by the looks of it. Nope, he's surfing neither. I'm taking the skull. Yeah. I mean, I understand not wanting to roll the dice to, to do the surfs, but I would have just scored last turn. That, that was the thing. I'd have scored turn six and then. Had a chance to go two nil up. Because I just didn't feel like he was going to get another turn of stall out of it, right? So if you're not going to get another turn of stall, you're better off scoring on turn six so that you've got the chance to go two nil up. Of course, if he was able to stall it out, then it would mean that he didn't get this LOS hit. And these LOS, hits, these LOS hits could mean like two dead L's and a dead tree. In which case, I'd be absolutely kicking myself for scoring on turn six. So, you know. I mean, the double serve took more dice rolls. And, you know, you don't want to throw it away on a 136. So. Three percent to not win seems pretty. Multiple three percent to not win seems pretty rubbish, right? I don't know how you're getting that bright stone. So either you're wrong, or I was being a bit dumb. Either which possible, <laughs> but I certainly didn't see a way to do it without doing dodges and stuff.
I mean, even surfing one... is still potentially more dice. I'm not 100% sure on how completely easy. Oh wow, he didn't stand firm. That's crazy by Strider did not stand firm. What uh, what Frankie should have done was put the ghoul in there and the zombie around. So he could have he could you know if he'd filled these two squares with this blitz, he could have then had another hit at him. That was kind of crazy by Strider and not to stand firm there and just get freely to oh it's so he can punch back. It's so he can punch back if he doesn't get power. That's really greedy. I would have absolutely not stood firm. In fact, not stun firm is even better because you get to punch the tackler without guards. Or he falls and you get to hit the mummy. It's way, it's way better to not... Uh, oh, no, okay, he chains him away. He chains him away and gets to hit the mummy. Okay, well, it's still... It's still mad. I hate... I hate not standing. I hate standing firm. I still hate standing firm. But, might kill the mummy. <laughs> didn't. Like, yeah, you're AV 11 plus, but the mummies have got mighty blow. They might, they might just kill you. <laughs> Have you seen Lizard Man Dacker? Not that I, uh, not that I recall. I've Dackered as Chaos versus Humans before. <laughs> because he banged me out so much. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. If the eleven can get broken, especially when it's hit by mighty blow. I did not like the stand firm there, but yeah, maybe it was just an autopilot one. Maybe it's a misclick. I uh I misclicked not standing firm versus Dave all one time. Which uh was a big factor in nearly losing well, in was a big factor in Not winning. Wow. Well done, Vivino. Both good for time bank. Quick game. Now I don't need to tackle. You can at one nil up. You want the fluid offense, even though Dimmy mocked me for saying it. You know, you can score any time, so you can just do whatever. You can just do whatever you want now, right? You just mill around. You can put some receivers down the field. If they don't cover them, you just score. You can switch sides. You can just do do anything, and they're completely screwed. I don't know that they've scheduled the third one. Some other day, <laughs> 22 UTC. That's when the third one will be. If there is one, you know, you never know, right? There could be a critical snake from Strider. And uh, then Frankie could draw this. I wouldn't bet on it, but it's possible. Instant removal. If he's going to blitz this white then I would have rather had the dancer on the LOS punching this guy and the rest of the in the white. Sir. 
One removal and two stuns, and both of them are on the tree. Brutal. Oh, a blockless blitz? Outrageous. Outrageous. Isn't that weird? Oh, keep them back. I've definitely gone up here. I guess he's trying to lull the ghouls in so he can just walk past them. But even then, just go twofold. Really weird. Don't get that at all. Only a 2D blitz, but gets the power. Base is the thrower there. Quite like base and throw, right? Because he hasn't got dodge, so I want to base the guys without dodge. Both wrestlers. This guy. This guy. Space so much. Free hit on your ghoul. Oh! Powers him into the assist on this one. Yeah. Goes one forward. I just stayed back personally but completely reasonable Takes it and gets the stun, which protects the ball. Or does it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah. Yeah. Well, I oh, can come through this way. One, two, three, four, five. Not really. Six, seven, eight. No, not really. Didn't get the surf. Which would have been fine, I think, surfing there. But I mean, now it looks really desperate for Frankie. have got 10. The undead have got 9. <laughs> Wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, yeah, 9. Yeah, outnumbered by Woody's is uh, not a recipe for success. Kaz though, no longer out and open.
The problem is, though, the uh, elves can go wherever they want. And. Yeah. He's actually blocked his path where he could get, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He could have been here. But he's got to go two below. Oh. He can go there as well. Base the mummy here. It's the sort of thing that people do. <laughs> I'm not super keen on it, but I could see I could see it happening. Oh, he hasn't even blitzed. Oh my goodness. So we can 3 2 attack the tackler. No, it doesn't have the tackler. Oh, I guess he's so far away it doesn't matter, right? Yeah. And if he goes, if he scores at all, it's 2 0 up and he's won. So this is absolutely horrendous for Frankie. He's got to do a Six plus, uh, no, you can do a five plus, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Five plus one D. Or he just loses, basically. He doesn't do it. And I don't think anything else he does will stop the score. But maybe it will, you know, I could be wrong. It's a two plus to win at the moment for Strider. Adds at least a 2D to the 2 plus. Yeah. I think he'll go for this, yeah. Him up to there. He blitzes him. He hands off too many scores. I mean, he might not even hand off. Because he's adding a 2 plus that you don't need to do. So you might just screen over here, just run over the ball to here and screen him. But like, if you want, you can 2 plus hand off and then just go, and you've just definitely won. Like, you can even put him like here. that one up there right to cover it in case he fills up handoff so I'd really like going for the handoff there
But you know, maybe this is better. Come through. And this is the problem, like if you you know, the fact that the elves can just score any time as well. It's like crazy. I wouldn't have hated tagging off the tackle of that turn. Honestly. Wouldn't have hated it. Because now, like, it's really the last turn for the, for the uh, undead. This is more what I expected for the, from the first game, to be honest. You know, like, it's... It's hard for the undead. The, the zombies are terrible. The mummies are just slow and don't do anything. So you've got like six decent players to fight a team of wood elves. And it's not easy. Got to rush and then has to re roll. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. It is a rush to score at the moment, yeah. But like now, the rush is terrible, right? Because like last turn, you just have the hand off to score, so. Now, this you can't hand off to score now, you'll just run around and dodge off and. <laughs> There's no way you can risk a, a rush now. If, if you weren't going to hand off last turn, there's no way you risk a, a rush this turn. Or, I just think you were wrong not to do the hand off last turn, right? Because the hand off last turn, he had like a screen for it. Very easy, I'd like a full screen for the hand off. So, I really like the hand off. Yes, I mean, so like, Wraiths are like amazing, right? Because it's hard to blitz them and they've got guard. And then fleshies have got stand firm and they're faster. And strength five might as well, like strength four might as well be strength five versus cells. So like, they're just way better. Like necro are just way better than undead versus elves, I think. So, I mean, that was a critical 1 in 36. This is the thing, right? He's had to make a critical 1 in 36 anyway. He's getting two dice by tackle. Like, the failure state of the handoff was better than that. So, I do think the handoff was bad. I'm going to stop banging on about it. <laughs> I get that, it, you know, it's funny, isn't it? Because when you play, you can, like, tunnel vision on things, and you can do the same while watching as well. But, um... The handoff is probably one of those that, like, you know, you're hesitant to, to do and put the game on the line, but the payoff is just so great. And the fact that it was screen, I think, it was right. I mean, he is burning turns as well. Yeah. And he can just score next turn, probably. But you never know, right? He might have to make a 1 in 36 next turn. And if he does, he could fail it. 
And then maybe, maybe Frankie can win. Gets a Kaz there on the dancer. Serious injury. Doesn't want to walk over that. Does apple it and it does work. What a looker dog. Gets the 37.5% apple. The rush from the mummies here is great, right? Because then you get... Yeah, the rush is so good. I think you have to do it. Yeah. Yeah, you absolutely have to rush here. Wait. Horrible to rely on it, but, like, it's just, the payoff is too good, right? You get to squeeze all three of these guys in with the dancer squeezed in as well. doesn't squeeze the dancer in. He had to double rush with that, I think. This can just two plus out here now. He's just got too many twos away. Can do blitzers of all sorts. But still, it's going to be, you know, at least one critical one in 36, probably. Probably at least one critical one in 36. Maybe several. Looks like one critical one in 36. <laughs> I don't think he can cut this one in 36 off. Turn and look with only three turns left. So yeah, you know, if he'd handed off the other turn, then yes, Frankie would have had five turns and maybe could have like scored quickly and high rolled and killed the team and and got back to two two. But again, I'd have felt very confident of, with the handoff it being over. So yeah, almost certainly, Strider has tied this up at one one. And they will play some other day at 10 p.m. to decide a game three tiebreaker. We'll decide who advances between Strider and Frankie. Greasy cleats, who is it? A zombie. I mean this feels rubbish. Really, you could just end you could just pass the turn here, honestly, as Frankie. I guess you can try it to two turn. I wouldn't feel like playing this out right now. <laughs> I'll be honest. But there is the tiniest chance you score in two and get a timeout and can draw 2-2. Two, two. So like, you've got to go for it, I guess. 
But like, it's so slow because there's war dancers to defend. Definitely wrong. I think I think you have to get that guy as a scoring threat. Scoring threat this guy. And then this one does the pickup handoff. If you're gonna hand off to there, which is already a bad so these should have both rushed. And the mummy should have rushed. So you'd have had it in a cage. I mean the whole thing's terrible, isn't it? Like, do you know what I mean? Like, it's not, it's not a slight on Frankie, it's just basically an impossible... You're in an impossible situation here. There's a chance, as I say, there's a chance you can score in two turns. And then get a timeout. And then score again in two turns. But it's so small... That I wouldn't try. Probably, yeah, I'd probably skip turns. I'd have probably skipped turns. Well, I probably wouldn't. I'd, probably, I'd want to skip turns. And I'd think to myself, there's a chance. However unlikely, you know, that I do get this, this score in two turns. And then I do get the riot or a blitz. And I do draw 2-2. Two -two. So I, I would force myself to play the best I could to get a two turn. But I understand people just conceding and not bothering what I don't understand is trying to make it a 2-1 loss which it looks like what Frankie's trying to do yeah with 400 on the line let's go for the 1 in 100 million chance why not right well the why not is because you're wasting your time which You know, I mean that, that. I mean that is the actual argument, isn't it? You know, it's taking time out of your life to try this, where you could just, you know, the probable return is absolutely zero. <laughs> medicine down but I mean you know that, that is what you're doing isn't it you know with all with all um well exactly yeah the troll chain you know? like that like that's it right like yes we are I mean we're playing a video game and, or commentating on a video game or watching people commentate on a video game so yes that's <laughs> it is ultimately all a waste of time yeah <laughs> but uh, it is what it is, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, I'd do it, but I mean, you can understand like people being like you know, kind of unhappy and not wanting to bother doing it. But I would definitely like the troll blitz, right? I would, I would play for whatever out was on the table. I've really enjoyed the World Cup, uh, World Championship. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that was, there's obviously a lot more chance of me getting that troll blitz score versus Dimmy than there is of. <laughs> Frankie getting the 2-2 draw 
Or that like there was a kind of a two-two draw, but I mean I would have still gone for it. I wouldn't have wanted to, but I would have I would have forced myself to play the best I could for the one in a billion chance or whatever it would be. But I think it's fine, people not doing it anymore. Like here, I'd just, I'd just end the turn because it doesn't matter if I win two, if I lose two one, does it? So I just here, I'd definitely end the turn. But you know, if he wants to, <laughs> there you go. Stride is playing on so and get rid of the cast dice. Maybe that, maybe that's what Frankie wants to do. Maybe Frankie wants to power up his cast dice. You know. I mean, it's a bit different to fling one turn touchdown and hoping for a riot or a blitz into turning over Strider with Wood Elves. But, yes. <laughs> um, so there you go, a 2 0 win for Strider. Funnily enough, um, Frankie won the first game 2 0, so not only is it 1 1 in results, it, they've also won by the same amount, not that that matters at all. Um, so they will have a final tiebreaker match at some point to be decided. Um, there's a group. We st so we still don't have a winner. We still don't have a decisive winner yet in round two. We've got Jacek and Spartacus drew, I think. Frankie and Strider are drawing, going to a tiebreaker. And Diomed is ahead of Jonesy. So there you go. Right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, congratulations, kind of, to Strider, because obviously he's not done. Um, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.